Today we're going to study the art of artist Edvard Munch. Open Art Magazine to page 4. Lost in his work, Edvard Munch applies layers of oil paint to his canvas. He scratches at the surface with sharp metal tools. In the painting, a young girl leans against a white pillow. It is called the sick child. The scene vibrates through the rough texture on the painting's surface. Munch later said that when he painted the sick child, he sought expression. Expression in art means portraying emotion. Munch had a lot of emotion to express. His life was made up of a series of tragic events that deeply affected him. Born in 1863, he grew up in the capital of Norway. When he was five, his mother died of tuberculosis, a serious disease that affects the lungs. Several years later, his sister died of the same disease. Now look on page five. In art school, he learned the academic or formal style of painting called realistic. But then he traveled to Paris, which was the center of European modern art. There he saw works by cutting-edge artists who experimented with color, light, and bold brush strokes. The paintings astonished Munch. He quickly decided to adopt a more expressive painting style. Instead of painting exactly what he saw, Munch aimed to illustrate his emotions. What kind of emotions did Edvard used to paint, and what kind of emotions do you think he painted after visiting Paris, France? Turn to page 7. Munch's painting, called Separation, is an exploration of lost love and heartache. He uses expressive brushwork and shape to depict these intense emotions. The male figure on the left clutches his heart, and his densely painted figure looks like the tree behind him. The artist shows that the man is rooted in place, unable to move away from his lost love. The artist juxtaposes the man, wearing dark colors, with the woman, who wears a long white dress. She appears to float above the ground. The curves of her flowing dress are organic. Munk renders the two figures in different ways to express the intense emotions associated with their separation. What does juxtapose mean? It is the act of placing two or more things side by side, often to compare or contrast or create an interesting effect. Open to page 8 and 9. Now let's look at his most famous work, called The Scream. Motifs from The Scream, such as the swirling sky, appear in other paintings by Munch. One art historian theorized that the figure might be based on a Peruvian mummy. And this painting is only one version of The Scream. There's more. There's paintings, pastels, and dozens of prints using the same image. I'd like you to look on page 9 to see if there's another interesting fact about this painting that I haven't told you about yet. After we all write down answers in our table groups, we will review them together, then begin our expressionistic Munch sunset in oil pastel.